Yo, what's up? Welcome to this uh, video. We are going to be talking about the uh, Create with Code course uh, on Unity Learn. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done Create with Code to begin with. That was like the first thing I did. Uh, instead, I, I should have went down the pathways. Anyway, uh, so this is the Create with Code course on Unity. Um, I would probably start with a pathway um but yeah th there here's a little summary these are some of the projects you do so if you guys if anyone's interested in beginning uh, the whole game development journey uh i think you know the unity learn stuff is really good uh, sort of start right so this is a uh, project one prototype one in that course uh in the unit um so here is my scene view. I So this is kind of all the stuff that's covered in the unit. Uh, I also did like the extended stuff. Uh, so all the extra doobly doos and dingle dangles. Uh, so there's, you know, buses and uh, like um, tanks and stuff. Uh, so down here at the bottom as well, you can see like a little game preview, the speed, the RPM is also calculated. The RPM is obviously just uh, really sort of a uh, weird ass script that is an actual RPM because, well, there's no actual uh, engine. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, these two cars. Um, there is like these little wheels. They don't spin. Uh, still didn't figure that out. Uh, but they got little wheel colliders on them. Uh, so I guess we'll, we can just do a little play. I'll play, yeah, maximize is good. So the car on the right doesn't work. Uh, and also there's like this crazy wobble to begin with. And uh, it's just all a bit mental. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you know, boxes, physics, the car does move with physics and there's kind of weight to it. Um, you can, you know, yeah. Uh, let me see about this. Yeah, there's like a weird wobble at the start. I can get quite figured out. I can't, I got the handling down quite nice to begin with. Like I could do like uh, sort of skidding and, you know, drifting and stuff to somewhat. This this kind of does inspire me to like make um, like a driving game. I think I could, you know, possibly do it. Oh, yeah. There's also like the speed there, the RPM. Uh, there's a few scripts in here, a follow player script. Uh, which is the just the camera following the car. There's the move forward script, which is controlling the uh, the buses here, um, and also yeah. So I did I did add those uh, those tankerinos. Oh, I've got everything. This, there we go. So yeah, we do have these mental uh, you know tanks that just come down and oh look at that. Wait, hold on. Uh, play. Focused, yeah, that's probably good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. Like, this is kind of the first um, kind of, you know, foray into some kind of making something with Unity. Uh, what else is there here? There's also a moot. Yeah, so the tank is just crazy. You know, you can see the scripts are not that mental. There's the player controller script, which is a little bit more juicy generally speaking um so uh yeah this is like the player controller script for uh the you know the first uh, unit one um i don't know if i do i want to go into all this stuff i guess we can briefly go into it uh but you've got like your your private variables actually no we're not gonna do this right now <laughs> we're just we're just gonna this is this is C-sharp, man. So, yeah, just all really basic C-sharp. Um, and it's all, like, really crazy to begin with because it's like, what does all these, what does all this mean? Um, but, yeah, it does, it does kind of come around. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm still, you know, very much learning the beginning days of it. I'm going into it. No, I don't want to go into it. Okay, yeah, well, maybe I'll, I'll do another video on, like, the script stuff because i guess there's like a billion things to cover uh anyway yeah so this is a prototype one uh you know it was great fun it was a good start uh and i have enjoyed working on it 
Uh, I'm not really sure what my advice is about it. Just, you know, get stuck in. It's all going to be broken and stuff. Like, obviously, like, I've got these cameras. I, I do have, like, a little button to switch camera as well. But it's, like, delayed. I don't really know why. And then the second car doesn't work. I think something messed up. It was working before. But, yeah. Hey-ho. Um... So yeah, that's kind of, uh, you know, we're, you know, project one, we're looking at C sharp as well here. Um, and then we'll quickly jump into prototype two. Okay, so yeah, this is prototype two. Uh, it's like a little farmer lady. Um, she has, she's out here in the wilderness uh i don't know why she's here or how she got here um and we'll do a little bit of gameplay for you uh so you can kind of move her it at one point i could move up and down but then i guess i broke that at some point uh you've got like pizzas and stuff so you can chuck some pizzas out there uh which is uh you know uh great uh, you're supposed to like feed the animals, but somehow they disappear. So I'm not really sure what's going on here, but uh, that is kind of the gameplay of it. There's no like sound or anything or any crazy stuff. There's a little black bar here uh, in one of the like further parts of the uh, course. You can <clears throat> sort of add these little health bars, but they don't follow the animals. I'm not really sure. Like what, it's kind of like once you're in that headspace and you're working on it, uh and then trying to keep your scripts under control is a little bit difficult because you can kind of keep overwriting it and overwriting it and then you need to kind of go back and then it just gets a little bit crazy but we've got obviously a few more scripts here um a player controller script spawn manager game manager uh you know destroying when it goes out of bounds and that uh and yeah this one probably yeah, it was prototype two, definitely more of a challenging one. Obviously, it's not working great here. Uh, it, you know, I, I got what I can get out of it. You know, I learned what I needed to learn. Uh, obviously, it's not perfect. Um, but otherwise, quite happy with it uh, for what it is. You know, try, trying to get from just absolutely nothing to like something is, you know, it's it's cool, man. It's like, okay, cool. I actually, you know, we actually did something. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, pizza last, that's the gameplay. That's the sweetness. I'm not sure what else I, I can cover here. Uh, let's move on to prototype three. All right. Yeah. So this is prototype three. Uh, this one, I, I, maybe my favorite one. Uh, this one feels more like it's like a game. Uh, so some cool things we've got going on here is we've got this uh, sort of double dot background that uh, repeats itself like seamlessly, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one does have like animations and sound effects and that. So like I feel like once you get those kind of, you know, those nice little touches, things do get a little better and a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, so we're going to do this. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly how loud it's going to be. But, okay, so that's really not that bad. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you know, your classic scroll side runner. You know, there's barrels, there's double jumps. Um, and the animations are quite nice. There's scripts controlling, like... Look at that, he's dead. Puffus, there's particles. There's still a little dirt coming from him. That doesn't stop after he dies, so that's a little bit. Pro there's just no re, no, there's no restart. Like all, all these things are missing, right? Um, but you know, this one, this one's pretty cool. This one, you know, like once you get this one kind of down, the you know, the animations and stuff, they're out of time. Uh, and <laughs> you know, obviously nothing happens at the end, so that's definitely lacking. But like all the physics and stuff is really cool. The way he moves, the way he animates, uh, really fun. I kind of, I pictured like game dev. I don't know, because I did animation uh, a number of years ago at university. So in my head, it's like everything was calculated to like a, a point, right? So like, 
you know, you, you can only jump at this many meters or centimeters or like it would be fenced off as a gate or something like it would be like calculated. But it's it's just that if he's off the ground and he and he's already doubled and he's already jumped and he can't jump again, like it's like it's like a there there's more of a like a double like like a negative and a positive, like a yes and a no. You know, if if the rule is that this hasn't happened, then this has this can happen. But if that hasn't happened and that has happened, then this you know can or can happen. And setting up that kind of rule where certain things can happen, certain things can't happen. Uh, you know, it makes sense. Like, it's like a really simple way of thinking about things. I, it, it kind of, it's start, it, like, it makes me think differently now. Like, when I'm playing different games, I'm like, I wonder what kind of rules were set up to make this happen kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, really a, a good little module, Prototype 3, probably one of my more fun ones. Um, all right, so this is Prototype 4. This one, uh, unfortunately... There is something a bit crazy going on with the game speed. And I think it's something to do with the fact that uh, all everything happens in accordance to uh, frames. Like every, you know, every frame is calculated and it's not attached. I don't think it's attached to any kind of time value. So if you get a billion FPS, everything happens very quickly. Uh, I think that's why uh, this, because you're about to see... <laughs> Like, so yeah, you're like a little ball. Uh, this is a like an isometric view, which is quite interesting. Um, it's kind of like a flat. It's like it's 3D, but the Z uh, axis is kind of like deleted. Like it's not there. So everything's just rendered X and Y, uh, but it's still 3D objects. But it's just like the Z's disappeared. Um, oh, so actually this is okay now. This is weird because when I tried to play this the other day, uh, uh, yeah, so the wee balls like try and chase you and stuff. It's actually quite difficult. So I quite like this one because of, I'll play it maximized. I do quite like this one because it is actually quite difficult. I had to speed things up because it was what, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, so when I play maximize, I think I get more frames per second and it's just impossible. So we're going to have to just play like little window. I'm not... I think that's why this is crazy. Um, but yeah, this is this speed is better. Okay, so you get a little power up, and you and you get like double power, and you bosh them off. So that's pretty fun. Uh, and as you spawn more balls, spawn. Uh, I I mean this this feels like a really nice little game. You you move up and down, right? And then you use like your left and right to turn the camera, which is quite interesting. And you can kind of bosh them off the uh and you know you move up the, the the levels and more spawn the big golden balls they're obviously harder right like they're like juicy sweet like they're they got some extra speed about them um and yeah actually this is probably about is i don't think i've ever reached okay there you go that's usually about where i die and they keep spawning and they also spawn randomly um so there's like this randomness going on there a difficulty increase going on and they keep spawning obviously we don't really want that to happen but at this point i haven't done any like ui or changing um you know uh like menus or whatnot uh, so they just keep spawning um and uh yeah this one this one was quite tricky this was a tricky one uh as you could probably tell by the, the scripting uh it's good it's it's i think it's a, a reasonably decent difficulty although it might be a little bit too hard <laughs> uh you know it is quite tricky when especially when all the golden balls come out to play uh and obviously there's so many things lacking like there's no real game juice you know there's no shaking or like you know f particles and loads of cool animations and stuff and all audio is completely void uh so yeah prototype 4 definitely quite a polished little uh thing here i i, I have also there is also challenges um throughout the series as well i haven't actually shown you them because you don't really make them you just kind of like fix them so these little you get these little challenges as you play along and you know, like loads of things are broken, like the camera's all messed up or, uh, you know, the balls are rolling in the wrong way or some kind of crazy stuff, man. So in the challenges, it's kind of your your job to kind of fix them. 
uh and in the process you're kind of using what you've learned in the uh you know in the previous stuff uh, and you can apply it here although there is some new things so you'll you might need to do like a little googling or whatnot uh but yeah that's the prototype for this we're currently looking at the challenge for um but uh yeah it's a prototype for this one i mean this you know with work and stuff this could be uh, you know a, a really good game all right, so uh, we're into prototype five now. Uh, wow, yeah, four four prototypes in for prototype five. This, um, okay, yeah, so this one, there is a, a very fundamental issue with it. Uh, and I don't know what I did, but somehow the collision, do the collision detection doesn't work. Most of it works. It's just the actual, you know, collision detection with, because, yeah, that's right. So if we press, if we just hit the play button, there's music and stuff, yeah. So, and there's a, there's like a volume slider here. Although it doesn't save, so once, if I reload, it doesn't, you know. Uh, easy, medium, and hard. So I can go into easy, and uh, yeah, so obviously, problem. Uh, <laughs> we got lives and stuff and score, like all, this, all these things work. Uh, if you're watching this, you probably, like you probably know how to fix this. Um, there's a medium difficulty, so more boxes will spawn. You get the boxes right. You, you, there's a wee little explosiony thing that happens. Uh, and if the if uh, so many of the boxes hit the the lower floor, then you know you run out of lives. Uh, and per box you get score. If you hit like a uh, like a a skull, uh, you you get minus points. You know, it was all working good, and then I added this like swipey thing, which w looks pretty awesome. Uh, instead of just clicking on the boxes, and then once I added the swipey, swipey the, the, the swipey thing, then you know it just gg So yeah, uh, but yeah. So that is prototype five, uh, and yeah. So with all the all the prototypes, you do have the challenges. And the whole create with code thing is, uh, you know, it's it's definitely a good start to get in. Although I would recommend the pathways first. Uh, I mean, you can jump into the create with code if you just if you don't want to get into the the pathway stuff. But I think if you're super fresh, then I would do the pathways first because I went into create with code first, and yeah, that was quite quite a little uh, you know journey in there. And then I'm like, wait, maybe I should do the pathways. And then I went into the pathways and I'm like, oh, this is way easier than what I was doing in Create with Codes. Yeah, so I would say, you know, do the pathways first. But I would definitely recommend this. I think this is a good start. I am starting. So this is this is kind of like real-time feedback, right? Like it's happening right now. Uh, and I'm working through it. I'm just doing the Creative Core. And then I do, and then after that, I did the Unity Essentials as well. That is definitely where you want to start. If you want to get started, Unity Essentials, get into that. That is the starting point. Creative Core, I think, is a good second starting point. Uh, I'm working through that. And it really, you just, I mean, it's not even foundation. It's, it's just like, at least you get some kind of insight into like all, all the different, kind, like all these like different components that make Unity how it works. Uh, and then after that, I'm planning on doing the Junior Programmer. The VR de Development. Uh, I'd like to get into that. I need to get a headset. Uh, I'm just really excited and I just really, really want to get part of the whole development uh, scene and just seeing what's possible, what I can create. Uh, so I hope you I hope you like that video, guys. Uh, make sure to like, like and subscribe to the video and I'll be coming with more videos in the future. Okay. Goodbye.